If you're thinking about purchasing a Bamboo Lab printer, whether it's your first one or you're adding an additional one, but don't really know which one to choose, here are the details. The A1 series is entry level, but it still has all the fancy features. If you're mostly printing PLA or PETG, the A1 or the A1 Mini is an excellent choice. Pretty much the only difference between the two is your build volume. This is the A1 Mini. This is any other Bamboo Lab printer's build size. Both printers in the A1 series use the AMS Lite, and both the AMS Lite and original AMS units have their pros and cons. There isn't really one that's better or worse than the other. If you're thinking about printing with ABS or ASA, the P1S is an excellent choice. You could also get an X1 Carbon. If you want the capability of printing with engineering grade filaments like polycarbonate or nylon, or you want to be able to print with abrasive filaments like carbon fiber infused, glow in the dark, wood infused, the X1 Carbon is a good choice for that. You can get any of Bamboo Labs printers either by themselves or with an AMS combo. You can always buy the printer by itself first and add that later. If money or your actual physical space to put it is a limiting factor, the A1 Mini is a very capable machine. I can't recommend it enough. If you have more money and more space to put it, the regular A1 non-mini is a really good choice. As you can see, the P1S is my top choice. I just like that it can also do the ABS and ASA if I want. And the X1 Carbon Series is good for those who need it, but the average person just doesn't. I hope this helps you make a decision if you're thinking about getting one. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.